Hey, what's up coffee explorers? So in this video, I'm gonna make some Turkish coffee. There's also gonna be a little update about what's going on in my life. Check it out. Well, welcome back. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my little coffee station here in my house. All right, so this is my little coffee nook here. Some clear cups. Coffee sock pour over my kettle. I got my, uh, I can't even remember what, what machine that is as a coffee maker. Got my Baratza Encore. Got what we're gonna be using here in a minute. We got the siphon, we've got the French press, we've got my coffee storing, and of course, you've seen this a lot. We got my pour over here. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is we need to reach over here and turn this grinder all the way to its absolute finest setting because you wanna make the, the coffee grounds about as fine as powder. Um, like really fine powder. So we got some, some nice Indonesian beans here. You got one seven gram scoop. I don't really like to use a measuring. I don't usually like to use a scale very much because uh, I waste time. <laughs> I know most people just freaked out about that one, but that's okay. So here we go. It's gonna get loud. Woo! All right, as you can see here, uh, this coffee is just powder fine. It's just microns, basically. So we'll go ahead and we'll put a scoop of that into the coffee maker there. This right here, this is called an e-brick or ceviche, I believe is what it's called. Uh, I got mine from uh, Specialty Turkish Coffee, this entire setup here. Um, Turge, the, the owner and founder of Specialty Turkish Coffee, is a really, really awesome guy. I have preheated this water up to about 150 degrees, and I'm just going to go ahead and fill it up to the one. All right, so we got a Bunsen burner underneath of it there. Let's go ahead and give her a quick little stir. Just to make sure everything's nice and moist. <laughs> People love that word. <laughs> All right, and then let's go ahead and turn this Bunsen burner around. There we go. Nice blue flames. This takes a little while, so uh, while we're doing this, I'll uh, go back to what I was going to tell you about. So, since I've been back from Vietnam, uh, I've attempted to go on three different trips, and each one has fallen through. Uh, well, not entirely the third one yet. So the first one I was supposed to go on a road trip and uh, drive through Reno, Nevada, and then through Yellowstone National Park and over into Sioux Falls, South Dakota. But then we had the big, big wildfires all over the country, and that wasn't very much fun. And then the second trip, I was supposed to go to Mexico, and then just a couple days before my flight, Mexico City went on a complete lockdown. So that wouldn't have been a very good trip to make either. And now, I start talking about going on another road trip where I was going to go down to Reno, and then all of a sudden we got this. So this is my backyard right now. Um, I live in Washington. We never get snow, and I think we got about, we got about a foot of snow this time. And this is after 
couple days as you can see we're starting to melt a little bit so that's that's good icicles aren't something that we see very often here but uh yeah out in the garage there is where i roast my coffee and right there is my wood shop i uh I like to make guitars now so yeah that's that's kind of fun to do that's what i've been doing with my time yeah, so hopefully once this all is all gone, we will actually be able to make some content for a change. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so let's get back to making that coffee. Okay, so now we got we got our uh, coffee starting to butt boil in here. Just raise it up. Get it to the top and we'll pull that down. So you gotta let it let it settle for a little bit because the grounds need to go down to the bottom of the cup. But that is how you make Turkish coffee. Uh, I will leave a link to especially Turkish coffee down below in the description so you can go pick this kind of stuff up. I'm not affiliated, but uh, it's something that you may want to have in your life. Um, now we got all of this snow here, and uh, I am. A little bit irritated because as soon as I started talking about taking this road trip, uh, this is what came to be. Supposedly, it's supposed to be going away here in the next couple of days, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave just after that. Um, however, there is speculation that the that President Biden is going to call for a ban on interstate travel throughout the country, so. Well, I guess we'll see how that goes. Uh, I hope it doesn't happen, but you know, getting rid of COVID, uh, beating it, I think that's more important than anything that I've got to do. All right, so uh, here we go. We got the Turkish coffee here. It's still pretty hot in this glass cup here, but let's, let's give it a taste. Oh, yeah. It's like the taste you would get from like a nice, really dark cacao sipping chocolate. Um, like I'd say in like the 80% mark of cacao. Uh, so it's it's got that, that pungent bitterness, but it's also got that, uh, that nice sweetness in the background. Mm. Oh yeah, this is a, this is good coffee. I, I highly suggest it. If you love coffee, you gotta get yourself a Turkish coffee setup. It's just you you gotta do it. It's just something you gotta do. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, that's gonna be our video for the night. Uh, Again, I just wanted to check in, show you what's going on, tell you, tell you why I haven't really been up and running. The COVID, man, everything has just been shut down. Can't really go out to to coffee shops. Everything now, we're just finally back up to places, restaurants, and stuff being open to 25%. But I don't really want to go out into it because there's so many people in this area who absolutely refuse to wear masks. And I just don't really like leaving my house for the most part if I'm not going to be leaving the area. Go ahead and like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, the channel is not dead. I repeat, the channel is not dead. It's just, it's on a little bit of a hiatus at the moment. Hopefully, this trip will give us some videos up and running. Uh, I'm hoping to go down uh, the Oregon coast and then over to through the through the Redwood Forest and then over to Reno, uh, Lake Tahoe, and then we'll see how things are going. We might end up heading down to the Grand Canyon. I'm not 100% sure what we're gonna do about that, but hopefully 
hopefully that'll be a thing so it'll be a little more travel oriented but we will stop and get coffee here and there i don't know how i don't know if like coffee shops and stuff like that are going to be open in reno or um las vegas or you know anywhere that we end up so we'll see how that goes but as always sip exquisitely